Cantonment, Florida. A masked man storms into a local drugstore demanding meds from pharmacist Kim Cadenhead. I saw the most horrifying thing that I ever could have expected to see. Just a black mask, black shirt, long sleeves, white gloves, and then you realize, you know, we're in the middle of a robbery. It was total fear. He was just pointing and telling everybody this was a robbery and to get off the telephone. Arlene does as ordered, but she doesn't hang up. My technician, Arlene, was on the phone with the state of Florida. Instead of hanging up the phone, she left the phone off the hook, hoping that they would hear. Meanwhile, Kim hits the silent alarm under the counter. The thug barges into the back while authorities listen in on every word. He wanted opiates, benzodiazepines, and Oxycontin. And this is what I want, start filling bags. The cranked up crook isn't afraid to flash steel to get what he wants. I seen the knife shining right there at the, her back, and I'm thinking, God, you know, if, if she doesn't say the right thing, he's fixing to just jab it in her back. You could see the degree of agitation become worse, and you don't know what someone is gonna do in that state. He thinks he's thought of everything to make a clean getaway. He wears gloves, locks the front door, and then takes the time to tie his witness's hands with tape. That was very frightening. I didn't like that. I, I, I didn't like that at all. To me, that was a sign of surrender. But little does the bandit realize, officers are already surrounding the building. We had to stand up and turn to go to the back room and we were able to see the front of the store and we saw the first deputy on the scene with big guns, fortunately. Kim alerts the officer wordlessly, letting him know they're in trouble. The perp snatches his sack of pills and runs out the back, only to be caught just outside the door. The half-crazed cowboy thought he'd plotted out the perfect drug heist. But thanks to two clever ladies, his bungled crime came across as totally phoned in.